always from the heart of the city and now on demand 24 7 on the chfi website this is the soundtrack to accompany an anniversary and i'm don jackson around the world on the internet allison roberts in the sacramento b as well as the social studies column of the globe and mail were the sources for this tale that's been around the internet a few times and i quote a married couple both 60 were celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary during their party a fairy appeared to congratulate them and to grant them each one wish the wife wanted to travel around the world the fairy waved her wand and poof the wife had tickets in her hand for a cruise next the fairy asked the husband what he wanted he said I wish I had a wife 30 years younger than I so the fairy picked up her wand and poof the husband was 90 years old you're invited to an anniversary celebration this hour with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com Van Morrison have I told you lately and in sync and this I promise you I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com to begin the hour words for a 40th wedding anniversary this was written by Raymond Souster from collected poems of Raymond Souster published in 1998 by Oberon press a simple gold band fitting snugly on my finger which I rub lightly at least once a day to remind me that this ring stands for two that only half of it belongs to me I've always liked that description this was featured in a past issue of glamour magazine a very few inventive ways to show one's love these are from Marjabelle young Stewart's little ways to say I love you and I quote Marie and Jack fell in love on a park bench before leaving for their honeymoon Jack arranged to have a park bench like the one they had met on delivered to their new home imagine their surprise when they returned to find two park benches sitting in their foyer Marie had the very same idea sounds like a pretty good chance to make it to quite a few anniversaries and this when Rita and her husband bought their first home together he gave her a gold key with a note that said here is the key to our home and my heart on their 10th anniversary Robert arranged for a case of fine French wine to be delivered to his wife June with a note that read this wine needs to age for about 10 years which means it will be perfect to drink on our 20th wedding anniversary here's to another 10 years of constant love unquote might give you some ideas for a future anniversary again from Marjabelle Young Stewart's little ways to say I love you lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com all for one and I swear and Brian Adams and you're still beautiful to me I'm Don Jackson with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and chfi.com I was in a photo studio in Montreal a few years back for a series of family portraits 
my in-laws were celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary, and the family decided it would be a wonderful keepsake to have some photographs professionally taken. As we waited our turn, I saw some of the most imaginative wedding photos displayed on the walls of the waiting room. These were not really posed photos, but they were filled with action and emotion. These were moments captured on a couple's special day, the first day of the rest of their lives. Little unexpected moments that I think would resonate all through their married lives. They were a wonderful selection of photos. Moments frozen for all time. But as I stood there looking at those photos, I wondered how many of the people, how many of those couples would make it as far as my in-laws or my own parents. That night at my in-laws anniversary party, we had a blast. It reminded me of the 50th celebration that my parents had some years before that. 50 is an amazing accomplishment in this age of easy divorce. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com George Benson with Roberta Flack and you are the love of my life. Jason Mraz, I'm yours, and Edwin McCain, and I'll be. And I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Do you remember the hit film with Bruce Willis called The Sixth Sense? It was not a film featuring Bruce blowing up terrorists, as he is so often prone to do in his movies. This role may have been a stretch for him, but he really pulled it off. One of the ideas put forth in The Sixth Sense is that not everything vanishes without a trace at the end of our lives. That just maybe something of our soul remains behind to linger near the ones we love. When my wife and I saw the film in the theater during its initial run, I could hear people shedding tears. I had a very difficult time trying to contain mine as well, even when I watched it a second time on video and knew what was really going on. Now, let me be very clear. The film isn't for the weak of heart. The images are sometimes disturbing and graphic because there is the horror aspect of this film to keep in mind. My wife and I were still talking about it even after having seen it a second time. Of course, he doesn't realize he's dead. The scene where he shows up late for his anniversary dinner haunts me even today as I do this program. Lovers and Author Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com Josh Groban, You Are Loved, Don't Give Up, and Ryan Dan with The Face. Lovers and Author Strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Leo Biscaglia, in his book Bus Nine to Paradise, published by Slack, wrote, A wife says to her husband, or vice versa, Do you love me? Of course, he says. I've been married to you for 20 years, haven't I? How satisfied would we be if we presented someone with a vintage wine and upon asking his opinion of it, he replied, I'm drinking it, aren't I? Love still needs expression between those who share it. Unquote. It's part of the reason why I'm doing this special program with lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Mark Cohn and a True Companion and Paul Anka with Anthea Anka and Friends and Do I Love You. I'm Don Jackson with Lovers and Other Strangers from iTunes 
and chfi.com. Finally, this hour, this is called The Golden Gift by John C. Bonser. It is From Chicken Soup for the Golden Soul, published in 2000. And I quote, Our golden wedding day draws near, the husband said. The elderly woman, smiling, raised her head. Will you write me a poem as you used to do? That's the gift I'd most like from you. The old man, agreeing, limped from the room, went out on the porch in the twilight's gloom, leaned on the railing and reminisced. Often we sat here, shared hopes, and kissed. Dear Lord, how the years have hurried by, those memories of youth, like an old man, sigh. Now we grow weary and bent and gray. What clever words can I possibly say to show that I love her just as much as I did when her cheeks were soft to my touch? When her eyes were bright and her lips were warm and we happily walked with her hand on my arm. So the husband stood while the evening breeze echoed his sigh through the nearby trees till the joys they had shared in days long past merged into thoughts he could voice at last. And he went inside and got paper and pen, sat down at the kitchen table, and then carefully wrote what his wife had desired, a gift as golden as a love inspired. Sweetheart, dear wife, my closest friend, with you my days begin and end. Though time has stolen strength and youth, it cannot change this shining truth. Our love has lasted all these years while hardships came with sorrow's tears. We've met each test and gotten by. And I will love you till I die. We are not rich in worldly wealth, but we owe nothing gained by stealth. And you remain my greatest treasure, my source of pride and quiet pleasure. I wish you all the happiness with which two loving hearts are blessed. You were and are my choice for life, my girl, my lady, my sweet wife. The poem finished, the husband arose, went into the room where his good wife dozed, and tenderly kissed her nodding head. Wake up, sleeping beauty, and come to bed. The Golden Gift by John C. Bonser from Chicken Soup for the Golden Soul, published in 2000. Today marks my 19th wedding anniversary. Happy ver anniversary, Lydia. This program is just for you this hour. Lovers and other strangers from iTunes and CHFI.com. Good night, sweet dreams. I'm Don Jackson.